Hey guys, Ole Anderson here. We are in the woods of New England today. Pretty close to the road actually. Um, it's uh, 44 degrees. So that considered nice weather here in New England. Uh, I'm on my way to an old dump that I got permission to hunt. Uh, probably a year or two ago uh, as you can see first sign a metal bucket I just spooked a deer up um, it's not a metal bucket yeah I got like I said I got permission probably uh, a year ago or so and it's 44 degrees so it's nice outside it's nice to go dick um, you can actually see it right here. Doesn't look of much. Uh, it's an old railroad dump slash farm dump. So why don't we go and check it out a little bit? I gotta be careful here. All the leaves are slippery. So as you can see. Um, There's stuff here, so that's fairly new. Old coffee can, fairly old with the lid right there. So why don't we dig down a little bit in it and see what we can find. I'll get back to you. Here's an old cork chop jar, I think, yeah. It's different. Um, no embossment, but yeah, there's whole stuff. I uh, can't see the symbol. I'll check that out later too. I'll get back to you. It's almost like I stand in a cellar hole. You can see the wall here. It goes here and around that they filled up with dirt. Uh, train is right out here, the train station. I uh, hit a beam down there, so I didn't continue. Let's see what this, this plastic. Uh, with this old cans, old crockery, uh, old glass, old metal. I'll get back to you. Here's something from a old toy car. You can see the headlights in the back where the wheels were. That would have been nice, it's metal. So, who knows what's in here. It's not very deep either. It's been here for a lot of years. Huh, that would have been a nice toy if it was old. I'll get back to you. And here's an old wrench. And I know it's old because they use square balls in old days, so it's an oldie. Huh. Can't believe it's in here too. Later. An old coal shovel. What's left of it? Buckets. Uh, some other stuff. I'm just walking the edge of the hole to see if there's any other dumps up here. Look like there could be something here potential. It's an indentation here in the ground. I hope it's not a well. I don't want to fall in. I think I'll go back, back down in my... I think this is a cellar hole uh, or something. And they filled it up. So, you see here's the wall. It's probably pretty deep too. Uh, there's a lot of junk so it's hard digging but I'll get to it later. Well, we're definitely in the right H bracket. That's old right there. So, just an old wine bottle maybe. But that's old. That was laying almost on the surface. Later. Would have been a fancy teacup. I guess. With flowers on. 
So there's definitely stuff here and I'm not very deep. Uh, I'll get back to you. Well, that kind of tells you what the uh, surface find age is. It's an old license plate. And I'm 10 inches down and it says 1931. So yeah, it's been dumping here for a while. Later. When did they start to make light bulbs? This looks old. <laughs> I mean, this looks kind of like today, but the glass looks kind of old. It's a bit crude. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using a pick. I can't get anywhere digging, so later. Guess an old oil can. Actually in pretty good shape. I never cleaned up an oil can, but maybe I should. <laughs> I think it's an oil can, who knows. So, I don't think I'll take it. Later. An old embossed mohawk. A piece of a mohawk soda bottle. So yeah, before the ACLs. What's ACL means? Uh, applied clear labels. They glued them on. They almost never survive. But the embossment will. I'll get back to you. Hey, they must have Dutch people over here. That's a wooden crock. A piece of a wooden crock. Fellow countrymen live nearby. That's cool. <laughs> There's even people buried here. Unless it's a deer bone or something, or a roast. It's old though. Ah, it's cut. Old rose bone. <laughs> Later. That would have been a day maker. Year maker. That would have been worth some money. Huh. That would have been nice. Number two. ENLP Norton. Something. Might keep it. <laughs> Should just investigate. But that's pretty cool. See, there's stuff coming up. All kind of bottles and broken stuff. Later. A white jar like I got plenty of. Um, I don't know which one this is, but it feels like it's full. Maybe we'll open it before we leave. I have a ton of these, so I'm not going to bring it home. But I do got a lid on it, though. Later. Uh, if I would guess, it's a... Uh, Cigarette jar, I would think. I'm not sure. Pretty skinny, so I would say cigarettes. Later. An old broken Listerine cork top. Not valuable, but hey, broken of course. Yeah, I think they dump stuff pretty hard here. That's the other half of it. Of course, the bottom is gone. Uh, Lambert something chemical company so yeah but that would have been an old cork top later as you can see most of the crock is there <laughs> that's a shame if I found all of it I would glue it back together but I don't think I will found quite a pile here but it's all broken and burned so I think I'm going to find a new hole later well that's it guys um, I just got a mail from text from the owner I gotta get out there going hunting so I am leaving if you like this kind of content press subscribe and like um, maybe I could go back another day I will talk to you all later and you enjoy your Thanksgiving I might go somewhere else uh, I'll let you know later is the storm they were talking about coming so I guess it's a good thing I got out of there, I'll have been wet. Um, I might go somewhere else, we'll see, I'm on my way. Uh, the spider river, there might be too much water. Uh, if I don't get back to you guys, uh, I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving. And like I said, we're supposed to have a storm. So, it'll be a while before I get back to you guys. Uh, it's supposed to come some more later on this week so if you like this kind of content like I said press subscribe subscribe hit smash that like button you all have a nice day bye